Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm going to do Junk Journal January and our prompt for today is travel. So it's prompt number 30. So I've got uh, the last signature in my little journal. That's my back page and these are my last two pages for the prompt. So the one on the left hand side will be the one I'm using for today's prompt, which as I've said is travel. So you might be wondering why I've got a Seguru book on my desk here. Well, I noticed on the back the other day that it has a fabulous travel image, which I thought I could use. And rather than deconstruct that book, like my journal, I've just run it through my photocopier. So I've just printed it out on um, a misprint. So I've got that to use. And here's some other bits and bobs that I've got. That's a sticker. This is a picture of a crowded beach vintage scene. Um, this is a journal, a record of a journey. This is a napkin that I've had in my stash for a wee while and it's the underground system in Paris. Uh, a little bit tattered there but I can still use a, use a portion of that if I need to. I've got various pieces of airline tickets, so that's just the luggage um, receipts. Those are binoculars, which you take on holiday. Nice clipper, and that's an airplane, a car, and a bike. And then I've got this image, which came out of a Daphne's Diary magazine. All black and white images of things that I would relate to a journey or travel. And when I can decide which way up this piece needs to go. This is part of a celestial map and obviously they used to navigate by the stars in um, times gone by. So I've got all these bits and bobs uh, lifted out for today's prompt. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to use them and whether I'm going to use all of them, but um, I've got them to play with. So let's make a start. I've cut myself a 14 centimetre square of just plain white photocopier paper. This is 80 GSM, so it's not very heavy. And as you can see, I'm just applying glue stick to the back of it. Then I'm just separating the layers of the napkin so that I have just only the top layer left. So I'm just carefully peeling away the backing. And this napkin only had two layers. Sometimes they have three, but this one just had two. And then I'm just going to find an area that I like and put it on the glued surface of that piece of copier paper. So just laying it down carefully over the top, positioning it so that I can get the portion that I want and smoothing it out. And then just going in with my scissors and trimming away the excess of the, uh, the napkin. And then I set it off to one side to dry. So just trimming it away here. And as I say, just set it aside to dry for five, uh, five or ten minutes before I go in and do the next stage, which is this. And I decide that I want to have a, an interactive piece on my page today. And I thought it might be quite fun to create a Turkish map fold. So I have folded my little piece of paper into a triangle both ways and then um, open it out and fold it horizontally. And then I collapse it in on itself and I'm just folding in the points of the bottom of my triangle towards the centre. And you will see me reinforce those folds and then just flip them inside. And I always think this is nice because it looks like a little house when it's all, all finished, done and dusted. There are a million and one um, YouTube videos on how to do origami map folds and I've even got one in my playlist so just check those out if you want to see this in more detail. So there we go that's my little Turkish map fold with the Paris underground um, map inside. I'm just reinforcing my folds because I'm going to need this to sit really nicely on my page. So I've got a little faux postcard sticker there and what I'm doing is I'm folding down the top of my map fold 
and I want to attach um, that sticker to my um, mat fold. Here I'm just using some double-sided tape to position three magnets on the back of my Turkish mat fold. So there they are, three tiny little magnets. I go around my map fold and my postcard with vintage photo distress ink and then I decide I want to back that sticker onto um, just some um, stained paper this is coffee stained paper so I'm ripping it away here to get rough rough torn edge and here I've just put that paper half on the back of the sticker and as you can see the yellow of the sticker backing is sticking out below the um, actual sticker and you'll see why I'm doing that in a moment so I'm gluing the top of the sticker which has already been glued to that um, tea stained or coffee stained paper to the back and then I'm going in with three more magnets here now because of the magnets on the back and I'm positioning these on the front, these magnets will automatically um, stick to the front of my Turkish map fold underneath the sticker um, by pure magnetism. And whilst they're stuck there, I'm going in with some double-sided tape here just to hold them in place. I never, ever, ever use glue. Please don't use glue on your magnets because if you get any glue on top, they won't work. So I've got three magnets at the back, I've got three magnets at the front, and I've got half a dozen folds of paper in between. So the first three lots of magnets um, that I positioned weren't strong enough. So you saw me go in there with another three on the front and another three on the back. And trust me, these are really strong <laughs> magnets. Um, and I found that worked. So here I'm pulling away the backing. And I'm going in with art glitter glue, but around the magnets, making sure that there won't be any seepage onto those magnets. And then I'm just pushing down the rest of the sticker. And there we go. That's my little Turkish map fold done and dusted. So I'm going to speed up the camera a little bit now because you don't want to see me playing around with my background collage. Um, suffice it to say, I've gone in with a piece of a vintage map and that celestial map. I'm absolutely loving that journal record piece and want to use that. Um, I also want to use that globe and here I'm chopping out the binoculars because I like those and I also decide I want to use the bike. I've played with that plane image and I really don't like it so that doesn't make the cut so to speak. Just fussy cutting the globe out and more or less just playing around with my pieces to see how I like them being positioned on my page. You'll see that red first class appear all over this piece. <laughs> I was desperate to fit it in, but um, eventually I didn't manage to. It just looked out of place. So that's my final positioning of everything that I wanted to include. That scrap of paper that you can see there with the word streets written on it is from a vintage indenture and I just love the texture of that. And actually the word streets is not a word, um, it was actually the surname of the gentleman that signed the indenture. So I thought it was absolutely perfect to use on my piece and uh, I had to find a place to include it. You saw me cut out a little car here and I'm very carefully putting it to one side so that this will still close and I'm not adding an extra layer to um, interfere with the closure and the magnetism of those magnets. I've got a couple of little pieces left over from that globe sticker. Now this is a moon phase or a strip of moon phase and I thought that would be nice. And here I've got um, just um, some degree marks and I thought that would help add a little bit more grounding to my bike and here I've got some more uh, longitude and lateral, 
lat latitude and longitude um, numbers um, and I've just put those to the right of the stamp and here I'm still playing that first class I'm desperate to get it on there but uh, as you'll see by the photographs at the end it really doesn't um, it doesn't work and I don't include it so obviously here going round with vintage photo distress ink and that's my finished piece so there's my little Turkish map fold with my little car on it did want a train on there but I couldn't find one and um, there we go just one more page left in my journal um, I might do something on the very back page which I had originally intended to leave blank but um, I was playing with some pieces yesterday and thought it might be nice to do just uh, an extra bonus collage on that page so please look out for that so I'm leaving you here with some close-up photos of the bits and bobs that I've added to my collage today or my page today to hit the prompt for travel. Um, I'm hoping that you don't need me to explain why I've put a postcard on there because we usually send postcards when we travel, don't we? Um, so everything else is pretty self-explanatory. The only thing left for me to do today is to say thank you so much everybody for watching. Really do appreciate your company and I hope to see you for tomorrow's prompt which is the final and last prompt in Junk Journal January but it won't be my final video in this series. So until then, take care, bye bye.